An absolute must-see video. It's been going viral for the past couple of weeks. It's gone viral before, and I think y'all need to see it. Lord Bebo tweeted, Queer Theory Pedophilia Jeopardy with Professor Derek Jensen. If you haven't seen this, it's a must-watch, believe me. Now, while I strongly recommend you just watch the video in its entirety, I'm going to play portions and comment on it, so I do think you should go to Twitter and, and watch the whole thing. Uh, but I want to play this for you, and I'm going to bring some news context into this. But uh, I will play for you this video. It's really amazing. This is a professor who is talking to students, and he gets accused of transphobia and homophobia for calling out pedophilia. All right, let's play some of this clip, and uh, we will then comment. Of course, I always must make sure that we're on the correct audio channel, because I always make that mistake. Here you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a beautiful line. Thank you so much for asking. How about something relevant? I've been talking about rape culture all day, and pedophilia and the support of pedophilia is not rape culture. Actually, actually, it seems you're acting like this is a spurious connection. So we're going to play Jeopardy. This is, we're going to play queer theory, we're going to play queer theory pedophilia Jeopardy. Okay, answer. Uh, commonly called the godfather of queer theory. Who is Foucault? Who is Foucault? I got it. Okay, 100 points. Um, Foucault, uh, another way to ask this is who argued, no, I guess the answer would be, argued for the eradication of age of consent laws as in down to infants? Mm -hmm. Who is Foucault? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next one. Um, uh, the author of the, the, author of the uh, founding document of queer theory. Who is Gail Rubin? Who is Gail Rubin? Um, what percentage? Don't know. The answer is 50 percent. Question is? The amount in that article that was a defense of pedophilia, specifically, quote, boy lovers, so men who talk boys. Oh. Okay, so let's just uh, let me let me address that, and we'll move forward because I want to get to the, the the main point here is the students criticizing him. But you've 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 heard that Th those are facts. This is a professor telling his students he uh, there's an the the founding document in queer theory, fifty percent of it is in defense of pedophilia. Okay, so when we're concerned that these people are trying to target children, maybe those who don't understand might start to understand now. But I think the really telling thing here is the reaction from uh, these, uh, the students. Let me play more. Okay. So here's Pat Calipia. Pat Calipia. Oh, wait, 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 just a second. Just a second. I was accused of homophobia because I am against pedophilia. Who is it who actually makes the connections between that? That right there, that is the core of what I wanted to hit with this segment. When you criticize what these people are doing, they say you're against the LGBT community. So when I make a video and I'm like, this specific person is grooming kids, they go, you're anti-LGBT. And I'm like, are you? Are you implying that you think LGBT people are pedophiles? Yes, that is the exact implication. When this professor comes out and says, hey, this particular individual, he names three people, had a predilection for kids, they went, you're a homophobe. The response is correct. He's like, are you, you're trying to claim that, that pedophilia and, and homosexuality are correlated. Well, a lot of people will believe that they are. I think that is unfair. As you can see with groups like Gays Against Groomers, there are people who are LGBT who are like, please leave kids alone. And you can see that there are people who have a predilection for children who are coming in and claiming you're attacking one group. This, this, this is how it's always been. I pointed this out before because I had these articles from like Media Matters or whatever criticizing me and Daily Dot. And I'm like, you are defending pedophiles. And what's happening is there's a group of people. There's a, there's a, there's a group of LGBT people minding their own business. And then a pedophile walks over, stands next to them. And I say, hey, look out for that guy. He's a pedo. And then the Everyone in this group goes, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hold on there. Don't insult us and call us this name. And I'm like, no, no, I'm talking about that guy right there. I'll give you the really funny story, the We Spa one. I mean, it's kind of horrifying where you had this woman complaining there was a man in the women's locker room and they're like, I'm sorry, this person's trans. We can't do anything about it. And the lady's like, what do you mean? No, it's a man with, 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 with male genitals, like whipping them out. And they were like, nope, nope, it's a trans person. And this woman asks the guy and the guy's like, why are you so bigoted? 
Here's the funny thing. It turns out it wasn't a trans woman. It was quite literally a dude exposing himself to women and children. He had done it before he got arrested. It's hilarious. The psychotic cultism of these people, the immediate assumption is that if someone is exposing themselves to kids, they say you're transphobic. What? That's the game they're playing. They have correlated specifically these groups of people. And that's what's creepy. Let me play, play more for this. Okay, here's something by Pat Calithia. Pat Calithia has written, any child old enough to decide whether or not she or he wants to eat spinach, play with trucks, or wear shoes is old enough to decide whether or not she wants to run around naked in the sun, masturbate, sit in someone's lap, or engage in sexual activity, by which she does not mean play doctor, she means with adults. And she's very clear about that because she also says that uh, pedophiles should be more and not less uh, invested wow. in children's lives. Uh, okay, so we're at 300. 400 is uh, <coughs> the most famous uh, queer theorist of today. Answer. No, it is not Judith Butler. Oh. Who is Ju oh. Judith Butler? Oh. <laughs> Okay, Judith Butler is the most uh, famous queer theorist of the day. We see you, all of you supporters yeah. here, who Good. do not care about trans people's lives. Every person here supporting trans You can't really tell what they're saying because they're all yelling over each other, but you see how they conflate this? You don't care about trans people's lives because you're critical of people who abuse children. That's what they're saying. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a great quote from Judith Butler. Here's a great quote from Judith Butler. Okay, so, so Judith Butler wrote, so I keep adding this qualification. When incest is a, so I keep adding this qualification. When incest is a violation, suggesting I think there may be occasions in which it's not. Why would I talk that way? We see you. Well, I do think that we see you. He's like incest and pedophilia are bad. And they're like, you hate trans people. It's like, OK, when when the left says trans people, are they actually talking about pedophiles? Because I'm not like when I talk about trans people, I'm talking about people who are uh, who are experiencing gender dysphoria and are trying to live their life in a way that is 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 um, helpful for them in their in their in their minds. So they can live a better life to the best of their abilities. I'm fairly libertarian in this stuff. I really don't care. You do you. You dress the way you want to dress, and I'll try and be nice to you. If you're a Christian wearing a suit, I got no beef. If you're a trans person with, you know, fake boobs and you're wearing a dress, I got no beef. If either of you take my kid in private and start saying things to them about your beliefs, we're going to have an issue. That's all I'm saying, whether you're religious or otherwise. Now, to be fair, there can be different degrees of abuse and exploitation, but adults should not be taking kids into private rooms and teaching them things. That it is the parent who has the final say. So strangers, non-parents shouldn't be secretly having conversations with kids in this way. Parents should have, you know, control over this. I don't care what you would. I don't care if you're a Hare Krishna, you know, a Muslim, or if you're Japanese and advocating for anime or whatever. Like, don't go to my kid and whisper things. Don't tell your parents. You should believe in God. Don't tell your parents. Okay, okay come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, I'm trying to raise my kid. I'm, I'm speaking figuratively. That's the big issue. You see, we see you. There are probably forms of incest that are not necessarily traumatic and which or which gain their traumatic care. Shame on you for criticizing a, a parent abusing their child. Like, shame on you. You see, we see you, dude. By virtue of the conscience of social stain that they produce. Yeah, that's you. That's one of that's one of the queer heroes. Okay, now, now we have, we have, uh, uh, for 500, uh, we have um, the last one in the queer theory and pedophilia. Uh, the answer is queer theorist who has spoken out strongly against pedophilia. Zero. Zero. Who is no one. Who is no one. Not a single one. Because the entire thing is based on transgressing. So I'll, I'll respond to that one last little portion, though. It's like someone not speaking about uh, speaking up about something isn't enough for me. I think if this professor wants to show that there are there are queer theorists who are advocating for a thing, that's really bad. But the idea that other people are not denouncing it, I don't play the game because it's like, you know, can you name a Trump supporter who's denounced, you know, insert problem? And it's like, dude, does he know about problem? Do you expect these people to know about every issue you're concerned with? If someone is an advocate for a gold-backed currency, 
and you were like, can you name one person who is in favor of a gold backed currency who has spoken out against the problems of you know, uh, uncontrollable, uh, you know, market collapse and, you know, uncontrollable interest rates, blah, 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 blah. And then you're like, listen, if the issue is the Federal Reserve is bad and they tell you why, and you're demanding that they speak out about, about something that's somewhat related, the answer may be they say zero. I really doubt it's zero, to be completely honest. He says zero. Okay, no, no, no. I'm sure there are queer theorists who have said, yes, OK, I think that's bad. I think that's a bad element. Nothing's absolute. But I don't I don't like playing the negative game where like you must denounce one thing. Otherwise, you're for it or defending it. No, no, no. It is fair to say, however, the conflation is the point when they call him a homophobe, when they call him a transphobe. You have to wonder what it is they're truly after. They chant they're coming for your kids. They bring kids to drag performances. It's right there in front of your eyes. They're mad about the sound of freedom. Mm, I'll leave it there. Next segment is coming up in a few minutes. Stick around and I'll see you all shortly.